All right, welcome back to another Iconic Masters Draft on Magic Online. There's a bunch of good cards in this pack. That's pretty sweet. We have Charmbreaker Devils. It's pretty good value. We also have Doomblade and Bailoth. I almost like Doomblade more than Bailoth, or more than Charmbreaker Devils. I think it's Charmbreaker or Doomblade here. I don't think it's Bailoth. Charmbreaker is pretty good card advantage. Like just being able to return, God, anything. <laughs> this Doomblade, for example, is pretty good. I think it's just Doomblade. This guy costs six. Yeah, it's, let's just go with Doomblade. Bubbling Cauldron. When we just passed a Bog Witch, Sacrifice Creature and Festering to each opponent loses four. You gain life equal to life lost this way. So we would gain four. They lose four. Eight, eight point life swing. We can take the Heat Ray and hope the Monument comes back. We can also take Fog Bank. Because it's pretty good blocking. We can take a Carnarium. Which might be better than Monument. Pretty sure it's one of these three cards. Maybe even Cauldron. Like Cauldron, sacking a dude to gain four life is not terrible. Hmm... This pack is actually somewhat tricky. I do like blue black better than red black, so I think we're gonna take Fog Bank here. It's real hard to deal with. I'm not a big monument fan. I mean I am, but I mean I don't think it's I don't think it's super end all be all of cards. This pack is great though. Dragon Tempest. Whenever a creature flying into his battlefield under your control gains haste, whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control. It deals X damage or X number of eh, that's meh. It's a weird uncommon, though. There's a lot of weird uncommons in this set that feel rare. Thrall, Bladewing's Thrall is great. I think we're just going to take the 5-6 flyer because it's 5-6 flyer. I could also see taking a Mana Leak. Wouldn't mind if Dead Reveler came back or any any of these other cards, to be quite honest. But I think we're just taking Mahamati to Jin. Jin. Look at this. Look at this sweet Thalia avatar, or a Nahiri avatar. Graven Cairns. None of these blue black cards are very good. Graven Cairns does help us splash, or it fixes our black mana if we only have one black. But I guess if we just drew a swamp instead of a Graven Cairns, that would also fix our black mana, so that doesn't really do much. Child of Night is fine, but I'm not super excited about it. Borderland Marauder, also fine. Could just be Newt, but I don't really want a third, fourth pick a Newt. I think I'd just rather have the land in case you want to splash any red cards. There's definitely some splashable red cards in this set, so. Might just be Dead Reveler. A 2-3 that can't block, that can block, or a 3-4 that can't is pretty good. I don't see us playing Jace's Phantasm to good effect, even though this is a weird common. Is there a card that mills? Like, is there a common card that mills? What mills in this format? I'm just going to go with Dead Reveler. Um, I don't hate Mannequin here. Throw Kill Assassin's actually very good, though. I think we're just taking Throw Kill Assassin. I don't care about Rot Farm when it's off color, and there's a card that's Throw Kill Assassin uh, that is on par with the Rekul Assassin's power level because it's just basically removal against any of the green decks.
I I also like cubing probably more than this set, but I think this set is uh, good enough for me. I like Illusory Angel a lot. Noxious Dragon's also pretty good. You can just kill a creature when it dies. I don't know how I feel about having another 6 drop, but this is basically a 5 drop because the cheapest card we're going to be able to play with it is a 2 mana spell right now anyway. I think it's just Dragon. Dragon's just a good, solid dude. With a kind of uh, modified Abrupt Decay attached to it. Repeal. Yes, please. Super easy pick. Uh, Mike left. Yeah, he had to go to work in the morning, so he took off. Peaches come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. Balustrade Spy. That is a mill card. I'm going to take this Jace's Phantasm. Maybe cards like Balustrade Spy will come back. I also don't hate just this as a 1-1 one, one for 1 as a flying man. I don't love it either, but... Uh, Eternal Thirst, Bewilder. I think it's just Eternal Thirst. I actually don't hate Eternal Thirst. I think it's pretty reasonable. Giving a dude lifelink is not that bad. Put it on this guy, and then you just have a 5-6 lifelinker. That whenever a creature dies, you get a counter. Okay. I look sad? I don't feel sad at all. Shriek Geist? Not really, no. I'd rather have, uh... No. No. I, I draw the line at Jace's Phantasm as my 1-1 one, one flyer. And reason being, uh... I like Mannequin here. What if we get a bunch of Jace's Phantasm and they end up just being insanely good? God, the potential for second Jace's Phantasm is just real strong. And I think we can get more of these. There's like four different two mana ramp spells. And by ramp, I mean, yeah, like two mana ramp spells. Um, It's either Spellfist or Child of Night. I think Spellfist is a little better. Like, I don't know if these Phantasms are good, but like if we just open a glimpse... Glimpse the unthinkable. Oh, Moonglove Extract. That's all right. That's main deckable. I'll play that guy. Uh, I don't have any plans to do any paper tournaments anytime soon. Oh, another spell fist. All right. Hmm. Another Bayloth. Eh, Phantom Monster is probably the most exciting card in this pack, which is unfortunate. Stream City 2000. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. We could have double Bayloth. I want to take Phantom Monster. That pack was not very good, and I don't think it's actually that close. Mana leak? 
Look at this Roshin Meander, which is an uncommon now. What a weird card. Yeah, I think it's Mana Leak over Wrench Mind. Yeah, again, not a super exciting pack for us. We have River Willie, Aerialist, Wrench Mind, and Mana Leak. I don't give Virulent Swipe that much credit, so. Another Phantom Monster. Foul Song Invocation. We have one Dragon. So it's kind of meh. I think it's just four. It's 3 3 Flyer again. Thran Dynamo. I think it's just repeal number two. Actually, Mindstone could be pretty good. Is Mindstone better than repeal? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just going to take the repeal here. Hmm. What do we got here? Nothing great at all. Reeve Soul is fine. Wrench Mind is still fine. Double Black is not, like, it's not ideal. But I think it's actually better than Reeve Soul. Josh Van Sickle with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. It's either Wrench Mind or Reeve Soul, obviously, because those are the only two cards in our color. We have Double Repeal. Throw kill, Doom Blade, Mana Leak, Fog Bank. We have a bunch of kind of removal. I think we're just gonna take the wrench mind. Even if we don't main deck it, it's a good sideboard card. And I don't think Reef Soul is that great, especially as a sorcery that only hits very small creatures. Azorius Charm, that's a card I would not mind playing. However, that's not gonna work out. The rest, maybe? Butcher's Glee is a cool trick. It's a cool regeneration trick when we have things like Mahamadi Dijin. Josh Van Sickle, thanks so much for saying so. Also, uh, worth noting, all Twitch subs uh, get access to the Discord channel. So be sure to connect your Discord and Twitch accounts and uh, get the invitation and do all that jazz. Because then we can still hang out even when we're not streaming. I'm going to take this Butcher's Glee because it feels like the only... Relevant pick here. Seems like the blue and black is kind of drying up here. Battle Good Scorpion is also great against the wall decks. So. I don't think this deck looks terrible right now. Guardian Idol. All right, now we're talking. Now this is a this is a great time for this because I don't see any other cards that I'm super excited about. And this is just a creature too. Can you say some fan love? I would never stop you from saying some fan love. Never, never gonna happen. Wow, and you even spelled my last name wrong, Neil. I can't tell if that was an intentional part of the joke. Guardian Idol, most iconic card in your pool so far. I think that's actually... Actually, I would say Mahamadi Dijin, but I think Guardian Idol is probably the second most iconic card. Maybe Mana Leak, though. What up, Chris Furter? Good seeing you, buddy. 
always a pleasure. Oh god, these packs. Rod Feast Maggot is fine. It's either that or Mannequin, so whatever. Awesome. Watch my tube stuff here then. This is live YouTube stuff. This will also be going on YouTube after the afterwards, so. We still have a whole other pack after this? Man. Okay, I feel like our deck is actually pretty good. Where are all the bounce lands, though? I don't see any bounce lands here. There's a person called the Chrisinator. Uh, I played them last round in our league, and I also they're also in this draft, and I kept thinking it was you, Chris. What up? Good, e good evening, Dusty Sax. Still nothing great for us. It's just drying up. Just gonna take Bale off here. It's not swipe. I don't like swipe at all, but I don't. Ugh. Sure. Well, I guess I just assumed it wasn't you, Chris. What are you predictably your workhorse in this deck right now? Mahamadi Jin, Child of Night, maybe. <laughs> Jace's phantasms are really on the cusp right now. I don't see any reason to play them, unless we get like glimpse of nature plus like a bunch of balustrade spies or something. Is there any way to get cards back from the graveyard in this set? Like any reanimation cards or just raise dead cards? Because I can see that being good with all the big creatures. Like both of these are fine to get back. Festering Newt or Moon Glove Extract. I already have... Don't I have a Newt? I don't have a Newt. I'll just take the other Moon Glove. That's good at killing uh, versatile creatures. Wow, look at that. Look at that magic, that Magic Arena Alpha humble brag from Chris. That's amazing. You always hear me typing in my videos? Wow. I don't, I, re I rarely type in my videos, and when I do, it's when I'm trying to remember something that happened in a match. Yes. I guess it's just Borderland Marauder. All right, well, we're at 19 cards. I think that's actually pretty high. And we have a bunch of reasonable sideboard slash filler stuff. Feels like having 10 cards in your graveyard is not completely out of the realm of possibility in this format. Another Charmbreaker Devils, wow. Could splash it off of Graven Cairns. It's actually a good card. And if we get any red bounce land, I think it's fine. I mean, the alternative is taking another six drop and river, river wheel aerialists, but I don't think I care about that as much. I also don't care about Bewilder or Foul Tongue Invocation or Jace's Phantasm. Stagger Shock is good, and it's another card I wouldn't mind splashing, but if I'm going to splash, I'd rather just have Charmbreaker Devils to get back something like Doomblade, Mana Leak, or Repeal. So I'm going to go with Charmbreaker Devils. River of Tears, that's another fixing land, which does let us play uh, a card, like it lets us play a mountain. Also, Doorkeeper seems reasonable here. 
But we only have like one defender. Like this is like our only defender in the deck, so it's actually not great. I think we're just taking the river. Oh, Grizzly Spectacle. Never mind. We're just taking Grizzly Spectacle. Yeah, that's head and shoulders above anything else in this pack. Yeah. Could just take Rot Farm. Kind of meh. I want to put Breaker Devils in the sideboard unless we hit like another fixing card or another. Is River Wheel Airless good enough? I don't know. We have a ton of two drops, which is nice. Because if we're on this raw, we can go two drop. And then next turn, we can go two drop Rot Farm. I think we're just taking Rot Farm. Also, these double elusive spell fists could be solid answers in this deck. There is a Balustrade Spy and a Phantom Monster and another Mana Leak. I would love to take this Balustrade Spy thinking that uh, we could actually get this Jace's Phantasms online. We also have Mind Wrench, which is another way to do it. I just don't think that's enough. I think it's just Mana Leak here. I don't think it's a third Phantom Monster. I think I'd rather just have a second counter spell. And if we can get a Demir Aqueduct, I would be very much okay with that. Ojatai's Breath. Meh. Throw Kill Assassin, that's just great. 2-3 Death Touch trades with everything for 2. Seems good. 1-2 Death Touch, great on defense. Repeal number three. Oh, Mnemonic Wall number one is exactly what we want. Especially with Doom Blades and Repeals and Mana Leaks. I'm just drinking Diet Coke in a in a Boston Market Cup. Coke Zero. This is our deck, as far as I know. And it looks pretty okay. Fog Bank stops everything, man. I do like our sideboard. We got an extra extract, extra extract, uh, wrench mind, eternal thirst if we don't have a lot of removal. We can also counter the removal. I would not mind a dissolve. Boy, these picks are taking a while. I can't tell if it's Magic Online lagging or if it's just like... These are all green, so I think it's... Everyone has picked. Aether Eyes. That's also pretty good. <laughs> Aether Eyes is kind of a blowout. Definitely taking that, and it's easy to cut something, I'm sure. Probably cut Scorpion for now. Oh, Illusory Angel? Oh my god. Alright, definitely playing that, especially with all these two drops. 4-4 four, four Flyer is no joke. We can cut a Dead Reveler. That guy's not super exciting. I 
I do like a jungle barrier a lot, which is kind of funny. Draw a card. I think it might just be aerialists here. It's just a 4-5 flyer. And I don't think we're playing it, but... We could. We definitely could. Bog Brew Witch. Haunting him is reasonable. Just make them discard four. <laughs> Uh, this doesn't do anything because we have neither of those cards. I'm just going to the Haunting Him. Like, if we can slam this against a control deck and they have no then they have no mana up, like, it's pretty brutal. We can probably take out the Extract. If we want to play 17 lands with the, with the Bounce Land. Just taking Rakdos Drake here. Not thrilled about it. We can also take Radiant Fountain and then just bounce it with Golgari Rot Farm, but I don't know how I feel about that. I think I like it better than just random 1 2 flyer that might be a 2 3 flyer. Wow, that is a late Phantom Monster. Yeah, like, it's weird. This set's weird because, like, 80% of the cards are not iconic. So it's kind of like, well, that's strange that you'd call it that. What do we cut for this third Phantom Monster? I think it's just better than a lot of other cards. I like having another scorpion. Yeah, like Aetherize is not iconic. Rot Feaster Maggot is not iconic. I get that you gotta put cards in here for for limited. Like I get that, but We can just take out a spell fist, I imagine. And that should be the deck. Nine, seven. I don't know if, if Radiant Fountain's worth playing. Could be nine, eight. Yeah, I like that better. All right, let's see how this goes. We got zero mirrors this time, Sarah. It's real sad. I mean, the the set's been fun to draft. It feels like a cube. Like I was I was playing it the other day, and I kept referring to it as cube, and I think that's a good the good sign when you're unintentionally referring to it as a cube. If only there was some way to have unstable on Magic Online. That set looks amazing. I 
How many mirrors are in this set? I think there's only Palladium Mirror, right? I think Palladium Mirror is the only mirror in this set. I will keep. I mean, if they, if Wizards goes back to making core sets that look like this set, I think that'd be just fine. That would be immensely draftable. And uh, that is a good sign for core sets. Guardian Idol on top? No. I'm just going to play this guy and take the leash off. Oh, look at that little cutie. This guy is significantly stronger than one power, right? Look at that. You can't carry this at one power. That is unreasonable. But now they just block, and it's sad for everybody. Hmm. Well, got to do what you got to do. So sad. You enjoy your little dragon, I guess. He's spending two of his power carrying the plate. That's fair. So it's actually a three three. But with the uh with the plate and all the meat on there, it's actually a one three. Yeah. I can get behind that. Solid strategy. And by strategy, I mean theory. Oof. Then there's cards like this I haven't seen. Prodigal Pyromancer is definitely... It feels iconic because it's... Uh, just Prodigal Sorcerer. But... I still haven't seen a lot of the uncommons, and I didn't actually look at any of the spoiler lists for this set, so I have no idea. Uh, there's, like, some uncommons that I just haven't seen yet. Oh, that's sad. Well, they had no dragon in hand, and they have one card, so that's pretty good for us. Fashionably late to the party, Guardian Idol. Fashionably late to the party. Let's go this guy. Next turn, we can go Spell Fist, keep up Butcher's Glee, which... Gains us five. I'm probably just going to block Dragon here because that's a lot of damage. How do you get the Discord info? Um, They should just be connected to your account. You have to do it on your PC, though. No, you can't do it on phone, as far as I know. That's weird that you tapped a red for Doomblade when you got a creature that pumps. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this deck's pretty aggressive.
Draw a card with Mind Stone, shoot us. Stream feels a little empty without Mike. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. So we're at virtual eight life. The jibber jabber is top notch, but I'd like to. Th wow. Oh, we can discard one artifact. Let's do that. See you later, Guardian Idol. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. That is some top notch damage they're dealing here. I'll be Mike. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are great. I feel like I just killed myself by, by letting this dragon exist. Which is kind of sad. I mean, we do get to gain like five. But we also have to find an answer. And our deck seems more aggressive than I expected it to. Oh, good. A uh, Child of Night when they have Prodigal Pyromancer. Actually, have to do this or else we die. Could have actually dealt seven, putting them in nine, but that doesn't really. I'd rather just have a blocker because otherwise they get to attack with this guy. And us preventing one at this point is probably better than them taking two. I mean, this dragon is basically a 5-3, right? Your mom's a prodigal pyromancer. Who's he talking to? That guy's name was... <laughs> Sorry, see, you're doing great. This is a solid mic impersonation you're doing here. Oh, no... Uh, no pumps, huh? Okay. Hoarding Dragon, perhaps? Scion of Ugin. Well, that is lethal. And dead. Okay. Well, that guy would have been good. Balagate Scorpion's coming in because it kills Prodigal Pyromancer, so that's cool. Child of Night can come out because it dies to Prodigal Pyromancer. It also kills the other guy. We saw two creatures that this kills, so that seems good. I will play first. Oh, that's sad. Sure. I guess we'll keep. Hope there's an island on top one time. Nope. See you later. Island on top? Yeah, boy. Did it. Yeah, I don't care about that. So now we just hope for lands. Ah, that's obnoxious. We'll counter it. Ooh. 
Land. Land. Really? Okay. How about land, land, two drops? Then we can go Phantom Monster, Mnemonic Wall. Land. Cringe. Waiting, waiting. Oh, a six drop. That's basically a land, right? I mean, I guess we can hope our opponent also doesn't draw land. Oh, all right, that's a good dude. <sighs> if we had a land, we could actually... Probably should have repealed this last turn, actually. That was pretty bad. I'm going to do it now. Even if we hit a land, it's still fine. I'd rather them not have access to a third. It's obviously this is probably the only card they had that cost three, so... Yep, could have played that last turn. That was just terrible. I'm so bad at this game sometimes. All the time. <laughs> so now they get to go Evolving Wilds and Guardian Idol? Oof. Can we draw a Balagid Scorpion? Because that's a cool dude. And we brought two in, so... That's not it. If we draw another land, we can go Kill, Thrill Kill, and Illusory Angel, which is pretty good. And then if we draw another land, we can go Mahamati Dijin. All of this is okay. Mm. Kermit the Frog, I feel like you are in every Discord channel I have, which is pretty sweet. Yep, see you later, Phantom Monster. They always have it. Dragon Egg entered the revealed card zone, sure. Balagate Scorpion or land. Huh? Alright, I accept. Do you want to use Unleash? No, I just want the blocker this time. Oh my god, they targeted their own Pyromancer. What? It even says when you target your own guy, it, all, it even asks you, are you sure you want to use Pyromancer's ability on itself? And they were like, yeah, I do. Wow, that was, well, that was something. Yeah, Kermit the Frog, you're old school, man. That's insane, dude. That card is so good against us. And it's like, well, I'll just kill it. I'll help you out. I got you, Dark Fam. Yep, we knew you had that. Oof. We could have attacked with both, then they get their guy. We could Mnemonic Wall for repeal or repeal this for zero draw card. I think Mahamadi's just better though. <laughs> oh my god, are you gonna Doomblade my Illusory Angel? This guy. Now I almost wanna play Mnemonic Wall because I know they have Things like Foul Tongue Invocation. Hmm. Yeah, knowing that, I'm pretty sure I just want to have a Mnemonic Wall to Sacrifice. I'm going to get back Repeal. Because worst case scenario, we can just bounce our own Mnemonic Wall with Repeal and keep that train going. Oh, another Graven Cairns, eh? Okay. 
Malfagor. Discard your hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card discarded this way. All right. See, I'm glad we didn't play the other dude. Wow. That's... <sighs> Surprisingly unbelievable. Of course. We also don't have the seven mana to bounce this guy yet. <laughs> so I guess we can aetherize it. And then keep up mana leak. Yeah, let's do that. And hopefully you'll play it again and we can mana leak it. Maybe. Everybody wins. Except for you. Only I win. I win. That's the name of the game. Might just be Rot Feaster Mag get rid of the Malfagor. But they have one card. I'm just going to play Mahamadi Jushin. And hope that it doesn't die. To another Foul Tongue Invoke. Okay, Doom Blade. Sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the last card. Seems good. Third X seems very good. They're killing all of our flyers. Go to 20. We can just keep repealing this guy. And by keep repealing this guy, I mean we can repeal this guy once. So... That guy is just fine. I'm a little afraid of wrench mind here. I think we can attack. We can repeal this dragon's egg and then try to... Oh, no? Okay. Well... I guess they're just going to attack back for three, and then we're going to have a little battle, but then I have Butcher's Glee, so... I'm going to hope to win the battle. Unfortunately, our pneumatic wall is in the graveyard, so... Yep. Discarded a swamp, drew two. That's pretty good. Save our guy, draw a card. Gain more life. Do you have any more dudes I care about in your graveyard? This guy's a three. I mean, we don't have a way to get Mahamadi Dijin back, I don't think. So I'd probably just exile that and gain six. Hmm. Well, that's not terrible. Kill it again. Dragon Lord, Dragon Loft Idol, sure. Should a dragon egg really be a dragon? I don't know. I, 
Yes, I'm aware there's a dragon in the egg, but I don't know if that's enough to make it a dragon yet. That's like calling eggs chickens. Like if you go to the store and you're like, I'd like some chickens, please. And then they give you a dozen eggs. Let me get a dozen chickens. It's literally the definition of don't count your dragons before they hatch. And they're like, no, they're dragons, man. And you're like, I don't think so, but okay. Butcher's Glee and Riverwheel Aerialist seems pretty good. We can deal four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with Doomblade. That's pretty good. I'm just going to take this. <laughs> I am at a healthy life total. <laughs> Dragon conception is a very touchy subject. Oh, God, you're right. I, I apologize for bringing it up. It was pretty, uh, I feel like it was a little insensitive. Guardian Idol blocking throw kill assassin? Hmm, perhaps. Is this game two? Did we lose the first game? I think we did. I think we got wrecked, didn't we? Very aggressive. Thoughts on net neutrality? I don't like it. <laughs> I hope it... Uh, or, I, I mean, I like it. I think it's... I, I hope it stays. Swords are magical things. Who knows how they how they appear? Am I a bot now? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Um Let's kill this guy. And we'll take three. And that should be, you should be dead here. I can't imagine you're not. Could have played Scorpion first and probably guaranteed lethal. But I don't even care. I also want them to try to kill uh, aerialists. Also, if they tap enough mana, we can actually just Butcher's Glee here. This is dangerous because if they... Yeah, we can just actually keep Butcher's Glee up. Alright, well, I think we're good here. Radiant Fountain might be a good inclusion. Eternal Thirst might also be a good inclusion, but they have a lot of uh, removal spells. Plus they have Malfagor. Ugh, God.
Oh, this hand is actually garbage. Two six drops, two four drops, and a three drop we can't cast. Yeah. Go back to Frown Town. This hand's better. Put you on the bottom despite the fact that I really want you, but... Whatever. Oof. Let's draw a mana leak. <laughs> oh, God. I love... You guys are amazing. I mean, I feel like you could have just said I love Frank on Twitter. Like, that's totally reasonable, right? I don't know what... Why is that a weird thing to say? Wow, look at all this ramping they're doing. Can we draw a mana leak? That would be great. Because we have nothing to do otherwise. I'll also take a Lotus Petal. <laughs> it's not terrible. Do we bounce this Guardian Idol? Yeah, I like that. That was good. I don't know why you would tell your mother anything like that. What am I, your... Mother's keeper? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Hopefully they just play a dragon thing that we can kill. All right, so no Doomblade. Hooray! Here comes Malfagor. If they want to Malfagor and discard four cards, cool. However, I don't know if we'd have an answer for that, so that's awkward. <laughs> oh my god, what's even happening right now? <laughs> There's always this there's always this this point in the night where the chat feels like it's just gone off the rails. I think that's where we are right now. Okay, that was cool. I think it's Maggot, then we go mnemonic wall into repeal to kill this guy. Let's do that. Going off the rails on a crazy train. Here comes old Malfi. Oh no, just Blade Wing Thrall. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh my god, I'm just like, if they have Malfagor, it's just brutal, dude. That card feels unbeatable to me. <laughs> Can someone explain what's going on in the chat right now? I feel like there was a point where I understood what was happening and now it's that point has passed. Like we can't even doom blade the blade wings risen, blade wings thrall, whatever that dude is. I don't know your name. Mnemonic Wall and Blade Wings Thrall. These are the cards we're playing. I'm pretty sure we just bounce this guy now so that we have, like, they can't do, like, a. I don't know, some kind of nonsense. You got it. Draw a card. All right, they're off Malfagor mana. We can't, we can't lose now.
All right, they're back on Malphicor mana. They discard both their cards. We sack both our guys. We have no way to deal with 6-6 six, six flyer. It's all over, guys. I guess we can play both of these if we draw land. Otherwise, they got double black cards. Black creatures, and it's pretty sad. All right, Doomblade killing my Mnemonic Wall, sure. That's better because we have two very good blue creatures in hand that we would rather them kill, but... Hmm. That's pretty okay. They could always kill it. We don't have a target. Then they attack for five again. I wish it was permanent. Also, with two cards in hand, Malfagor only makes us disc only makes us sacrifice one guy, which is better than two. Man, I am terrified of Malfagor. You can tell. No attacks. That's nice. That's a good dude. Just a little bit of comfort in a in a dark world. I guess this guy can stay home. Right? Wrong. Fake news. Foul tongue invocation. You don't, have a, you don't have a dragon, right? Okay. Sure. Take your take your four. We'll play Phantom Monster, keep Doomblade slash Mana Leak up. One, two, three, four, five. They have seven mana, so... What are you doing now? Draconic Roar? Yeah, that's leakable. Alright, they have no cards in hand, so that's good. Even if they top deck Malphagor, it's still fine. We just double block. Oh, all right, we win. Sweet. Thanks a ton, and GG's. All right. I like it. Watsi is so bad at balance. Let's put Doomblade in a set that's one-fifth black. <laughs> Shaking my head. Unbelievable. Why don't you put more black cards in this set? They also put cards like uh, Iona's Judgment in the set when most of the set is not an enchantment or a creature. Like, come on. The exclamation point next to your name uh, means that you've yielded. So then you know. You're like, did I hit F6? I don't know. I will play first. I don't like it. I will mulligan. I don't like it. I'll go to five. And presumably lose. Yep. I'm actually going to keep this. There's a bunch of good cards in here. That is good. Repeal gives us another land. We get to play a Thrill Kill and a Fog Bank and a Mana Leak, so. Let's see what happens. See, like, I'm going to hit F6 right now, and it's like, whoop, right here, and it says, Yielding. So. Well, 
Let's play this and hope that this blue deck doesn't have an answer to a 2-3 death touchy. And then they're going to go fog bank and I'm going to be like, well darn. Oh, it's a red deck, so now they're just going to go Draconic Roar? No, okay. Okay. No, nope. let's do it. Missing our first land drop. Instead, we're drawing a six drop. All right, don't have a Draconic Roar with a dragon in hand, then we take six, because then I'll just be sad. First time I saw it, I thought it was Magic warning me it was about to crash, which would be a great feature. Hey, man, we're going down. Take it easy. Can they not deal with our fog bank? Is it too much? Did things get too real? Fog bank when Magic the Gathering gets too real. If you had that, why take so long? <laughs> Just kill it and move on. This is a child of the night. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's Balfrog. I'm not sure. Sure. Tap down my child of the night. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. See, I think you just have to say "child of night" in the in the in the rhythm in the style of rhythm of the night whenever you play it or reference it. So, no blocks because I don't have any creatures or lands. Ha 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 ha. Well, I guess now we get to keep Mana Leak up. Did I go to the RPTQ on Sunday? I'm not even qualified for the RPTQ. Why would I have gone to that? That doesn't even make any sense. <sighs> Alright, we have to keep Mana Lake and Repeal up, which is nice. Oh, look at this little little cutie. I didn't even know that was in the set. Are you thought scouring me again? Is this just like This is weird. Look, you hit like four mana sources. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Come on, I don't believe it. One, two, three, four. Do we take seven and go to seven? I think that's fine. Nice. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, 
Where, I don't know, but... I mean, 9 to 10. We're, we're bridging that gap and we got a Rot Feaster Maggot in hand? Deal. And we got that second repeal. Yes, please. Here comes Borderland Marauder. Who saw that coming? So any spell they cast outside of a third Thought Scour is going to get countered right now. Okay, or well, that, I guess. If they have a mana leak, it's pretty brutal because then it gets uh, gets another plus one. Yep, yeah, that's not what we want, but I'll take two. Butcher's Glee would be pretty good here. So would a land, so we can play Rot Feaster Maggot. Oof, look at this draw. Oh my god. Alright, that's reasonable, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Attacking here might have been greedy, but they have one card in hand. All right, let's see what happens. Actually, we'll just kill whatever they put this on. It'll probably be a Marauder, I imagine. Oh, the Frost Links. Yeah, that makes more sense. That's less of an eggs in one basket type thing. We kill you. We tell we still take nine if if uh Yeah, if they have a spell that they can cast right now, we're dead. Otherwise, we go to one. Wow, we go to one? Sure. Hmm. Well, they just kill us with this guy if they have a spell. I think we're dead here. We attack with both. This doesn't do anything. What's a Chiskin? <laughs> Don't count your Chiskins before they hatch? What is that? What does that even mean? I wish we were gaining more than two with this guy, but it's toughness, right? Yeah, all right. No whammies. That deck looks very good, though. Oh, are we just going straight to combat? That seems good for us. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy. And that was how we stayed alive for another turn. I am for Unstable. Unstable seems amazing. <laughs> Including the fact that they have... Uh, Foil tokens and full art lands in every pack. I'm I'm really looking forward to Unstable. I think the set's super sweet. Mana Leak is pretty dead at this point, unfortunately. Man, my kingdom for a Butcher's Glee at this point. We do get to play Phantom Monster, have three blockers, which means we'll take one from... If they have a spell, if they draw a spell, we're just in, we're just dead. Actually, we're not dead. We got three. We can block block, and we'll take two from this guy. This is a... That's a great block for us. All 
All right. Rift Bolt number two. Sure. Oh, of course you draw second distortion strike. Why wouldn't you? Yep. These guys are amazing in this matchup. Let's bring them both in. Uh, Spellfist doesn't seem great. Can also take out... Hmm. Extract might also be good. Probably take out Aerialists for, I guess, that. Mana Lake seems pretty bad, too. I can probably just bring in Double Extract, kill their guys. I don't hate Eternal Thirst here, giving Lifelink to one of our guys, like a Phantom Monster. Hmm. I'm gonna submit like this. We'll see. Man, you guys are you guys are quiet tonight. Also worth noting, if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to follow or subscribe. Both those things help me out. And if you guys sub, you get access to the subscriber Discord channel, which is sweet. We've all been chatting in there. So, you know, you got that going for you. Also, in uh, apparently in Discord, it tells you when I'm streaming. It says streaming drafting I Iconic Masters. That's pretty cool. What up? Yeah, that's Steve. Is it true that I love League of Legends? Considering I've played maybe one game of League of Legends in my life, no, I don't think that's true. What up, a Polish sniper? Sniper? <laughs> sniper? I will play first. I will keep this hand all day. Man, it's funny. If they didn't have that one Rift Bolt, Fogbank would have done so much work in that game, dude. We have a ton of four drops. So I'm just going to play this and assume that it's going to be valuable. The only hasty red creature we saw was Monastery Swift Spear. So if they have Monastery Swift Spear and they want to do this one, that's a reasonable trade for me. And we did not draw. A four drop. Here comes Rift Bowl again. You ready? I hope they don't see that we've yielded. That would be really bad. I did not see the Esper Mill deck from the Baltimore Modern Classic, but I have to assume that it looks like the regular just stock Esper Mill list with Mesmeric Orbs, Glimpses, and Mind Funerals, and things like that. Archive Traps, obviously. Oh boy, wow. Not a Rift Bolt this time, just an Electrolyze. How nice. Can we draw? Let's draw a Balagad Scorpion and just kill these Marauders. That would be fantastic. Nope, just a land. Okay, well. 
I will probably block with Guardian Idol, I guess. I'm not thrilled about it, but I'd rather just get this off the board, because we're not going to be able to do it. Actually, we can just play Noxious Dragon next turn if we don't block. And that's pretty good. Unless they have a Counterspell, in which case we're taking six. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, take three. Man, Balagate Scorpion is insane in this matchup. Can we draw them, though? That's the question. Well, that guy's good. So is this guy. Unless you have Mana Leak, which of course you do. And that's what we're afraid of. That's <sighs> <laughs> so exhausting. What up, Tony the Liger? This is a lot of dudes. I guess Distortion Strike on Monastery Swift Spear, then you deal three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, just, just an Elusor Angel. And a Pillar of Flame for my face. Sure. That was that's a real fair turn. That's a that's a reasonable turn. We go to two. Yeah, this game's over. You are about to die, Monsonster. Yes. Thank you. Correct. Uh, I, I I am about to die. Chad is super dead right now, which is surprising because there's a good amount of people and Chad is usually super... Uh... Yeah, even if we use this to eat this, we go to six, we can block. Yeah, we're dead. Well, that was a good time. All right. Let's see if we can 2-1 at least. Our deck seems reasonable. I think that deck was just insane. Like, their deck was great. So... What can you do? It is about 1 1 a.m. here, so. Don't know about Florida. What is it? <laughs> it's just one time zone away, right? Like I will play first. Yeah, this hand's great. Uh, we didn't pull anything great. Like, I'm not, like, blown away by any of our pulls. I'm going to keep Throw Kill Assassin and just play uh, Elusive Spell Fist on turn two because I think Assassin is a little better when you can be flexible with it. Like, I keep running this guy out there and then just wishing I had a 1-2 to block instead, so. I, I've been enjoying this draft format so far, but there's definitely some holes in it. There's some glaring holes in it. There are a lot of really powerful uncommons that should that traditionally are rare. Sure. Mahamadi Dijin in the graveyard. Unfortunate. God, if they play another wrench mine, this game is probably just over. Yeah, that's fine. So I deal you one, you gain one. Sounds good. I get carried away trying to blow smoke rings and I don't, and I don't have enough snacks for this. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh. Shout out five times three and dynamo dot deck. Nice. Clam Womped. This is probably going to be the last one. I do have to get to bed. Relative. Wow. Dragon creatures get plus three plus three. Is that something I should be afraid of? Good lord. I mean, I have no gas, so any dragon you play is just going to be bonkers. And our opponent's name is the Dragooner, so... Maybe they're just like, oh my god, what in the earth? What? 
All right, lands. Having a good time. Discarded two spells, draw nothing but lands. Had I known this, I probably would have kept that Mahamadi Dijin. Or even the Thrill Kill Assassin at this point, considering our opponent has played nothing. Oh, we definitely don't want to go to bed, but I do have uh, things to do in the morning tomorrow, so. But I dubs. <laughs> Alright, that's a dude. Uh, not only do dragon eggs hatch 8-8s, eight eight, dragon eggs themselves are 6-8s. So, that's cool. That's not unbeatable at all. Dragooner, I barely know her. What up, Noble Phoenix? Long time no see, buddy. Here we go. Here comes a dragon. Thousand percent of dragon. And we're dead. Fireball. Heat Ray. I kind of just want to repeal this. I don't think that's good enough, though. Just going to play this. There's no reason not to. I don't love it, but whatever. Oh boy, double crucible of fire is terrifying. Two abyssal persecutor with two ways to get rid of them? Yeah, that is horrible but funny. You're not wrong. Good lord. I mean, they're very good. Oh, I forgot how controversial dragon eggs were. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to bring that up. I know it's political. Why are you why what is why are you why did you kill that instead of this? What is going on here? Come on. I guess we keep swamping in in case they have another wretched wrench mind. Uh, this one is a foil, that's why. This one's foil, this one's regular. Necropotence. Huh. Welp. Can we kill them with Butcher's Glee here? Really tempted to just bounce the Necropotence, but then they draw a card during their during their turn. All right. Don't do anything crazy here. Draconic Roar. Reveal a dragon. Well, that's annoying. Clamwomp with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Yeah, we're not doing that. Did they reveal? They didn't even reveal dragon. Weird. Skip that draw step. Play that land. All right, so you got three cards. That 
That's a big one. Couldn't actually mana leak that anyway. That's an 11-11 Ryusei. That's amazing. I'm definitely attacking into that. Oh, actually, Butcher's Glee keeps it alive. Well, no, because then it would die from the effect, so. They didn't draw any more cards? Interesting. Wow, Aether Eyes is pretty busted in this situation. <laughs> Just Aether Eyes bounce that dude. Oh my god, man. What up, Six Monarch? Good seeing you. Always a pleasure. I never see any other Monarchs, though. I only see the sixth one. So that's interesting. You can recast that guy if you'd like. Man, this is a grindy game, dude. I have no idea what's happening in this game. Go to six. Can they kill us with Ryusei? I don't know. They're not drawing any cards, though. That's the interesting thing. So, 11, we go to 9, we take 1, 4, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we're just going to put cards aside now. That's pretty good. So, they're probably not attacking. Wow, they go to 4? They're, so, they're at 5? Are they dead to Butcher's Glee here? Interesting. Considering they did that, I don't think they have a spell. Otherwise, they would have cast it. So I'm actually just going to go try to try to just kill them here. If they have any removal spell, we're dead, which is unfortunate. Oh, they don't. All right, sweet. Whew. Necropotence is a heck of a thing. I'm going to bring in Wrench Mind here because you have a bunch of slow stuff, dude. That's ridiculous. Haunting him as well. We're going to just bring in all the slow stuff. Aether Eyes is reasonable. Grizzly Spectacle is reasonable. Doomblade's fine. Fog Bank actually blocks all of their guys, so that's cool. Our deck's actually not terrible against them. You can probably take out one repeal. Ah, but repeal is so good. <laughs> oh, man. All of our cards are good. I will be streaming this tomorrow afternoon, so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to tune in. I'll take out the maggot, I guess. Oh, uh, this hand's very keepable. If we can draw a land, we can go turn two Guardian Idol into turn three. Did they... Are they not... Oh, I'm like, are they not playing a land? What's going on here? That's pretty good. So now it's either three kill Assassin or Guardian Idol into Rot Farm. Considering what we've seen of their deck... How do we kill that? Oh, I will probably definitely find some time to stream some Hearthstone. I almost like Guardian will bounce Mannequin next turn. Let's do that and then go and then Rot Farm.
Look at this weird art. This is Vulcan. This is David Palumbo. This art's actually pretty creepy. I'm not comfortable with it. Oh my god, this thing is huge with Crucible, dude. That's actually very good. Did they miss a land drop? Oh, they did, and we're going to bounce their mannequin. That's great. What does the flavor text say? Oh, it's gone now. We'll have to wait till they replay it this turn. We also have five mana, so then we can just go uh, repeal it again. Try to draw a land. Which I think we do, because they're missing land drops. Each night, the artificer tucked the little doll into a locked drawer. Each morning, she awoke to find it waiting beside her with some new bubble. Oh, that's not okay. No, sir. I'm out. Give us a land. And next turn, we get to... Uh... Did we not play it? We play land this turn? That's whatever. I actually don't even want to kill this, which is unfortunate. But I don't think it matters, so we'll just make it 2-3. Also, we now have 6 mana, so we can start casting things like Noxious Dragon and Aerialists. I'm pretty sure we're just going to make them discard 4, though. Or we just play Noxious Dragon here, because they only have, they have 7 cards. My biggest concern is if they just go land Crucible and then this is all of a sudden a 3-5 that becomes a 5-5. Five, five, and it's very hard to deal with. Alright, we're just going to play this. And hope it does it. Oh boy. No land into Crucible. That's all we're asking. I mean, a double Crucible, the odds of having Crucible is pretty high. Rune Servitor. Okay. Now that we have a clock, we can actually just kill this guy as well. If we hit another blue next turn, one, two, three, four, five, we can actually go Mnemonic Wall, bounce it again. But... They're definitely blocking with Rune Servitor because they want the card for obvious reasons. Do we have seven lands? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, that's great. Oh, it's not an artifact. That's so dumb, dude. Oh, ah. We have one blue mana, so we can actually play this and this. Oh, man. I definitely don't want to... I kind of don't mind killing this, I guess, because then we can just repeal it. It's whatever. I want to get power on the board, and this gets us there and also mills them for none. Okay. Yeah, if they go if they go land Crucible, uh, we can just go Mnemonic Wall, hope we hit a land. Hope we hit an island. We also just get, we can also just block it. Like, that's not, that's also a thing, so. I think we're fine. And they're discarding. <laughs> okay, also that's busted. Yeah, this game's over. Aetherize puts this game in a uh, pretty good position. But four? I guess we just get Repeal back because it deals with everything they could possibly have. Including Crucible. Yeah, I think this game's over. Which is sweet. That's another 2-1. Which I'm satisfied with. Alright, sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and uh, slam those buttons. See you next time.